Okay, so to prep a bunch of grains ahead of time, um, what I like to use is this. It's called an Instant Pot. Uh, this was a $100 Amazon Prime Deal Days special. Um, you can still find them, sometimes pretty close to that if you, uh, if you look hard. And um, what it is, is it's sort of a multi-purpose everything. It's a pressure cooker, and it's a rice maker, and it's a slow cooker, and um, it actually can even make yogurt and cheese and all sorts of stuff. It's actually one of the best things I've ever owned. And honestly, like if I was gonna have to take one thing out of this entire kitchen with me to cook with for the rest of my life, it would be this, because it does nearly everything. You can even saute it if you need to. Um, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make a whole bunch of quinoa. This was a big, huge thing of it that I bought at Costco. And <clears throat> the cooking directions on the package are not always the same for when you're using a pressure cooker. Luckily, this thing comes with a quick conversion guide for what you should be doing with it, how much ratio of water to grain or whatever it is that you're cooking. So this one's pretty simple. It's a cup of grain, two cups of water. And all I have to do is get three cups of water off, put the lid on, tell it I'm using multi-grain, and set the time for eight minutes. Don't be fooled, it takes a little bit longer than eight minutes because it has to come up to pressure first. So all in all, I will have three cups of cooked quinoa without having to touch anything in about 15 minutes. And 15 minutes later, we have our cooked quinoa. So all I have to do is release the pressure valve. Best to do this on an open countertop and not underneath your cabinet. I learned that the hard way in my old house. Once the pressure bleeds off, then we open the lid and we should have perfectly cooked quinoa and three cups of it. And again, that was 15 minutes worth of effort. Um, <clears throat> if I were to have left this, you see the count up timer here, it'll just keep uh, counting up, it'll keep it warm, and it'll actually keep it fairly fresh for four to six hours. So this is something that you can start in the morning if you need to and come back later. And, yep, we have perfectly cooked quinoa.